Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Hi everybody, I'm Tanya Banerjee, a writer and current student in the Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing program at the University of British Columbia. I'll be leading today's Art Starts Explore episode. First, I'd like to acknowledge that I'm tuning in today from the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Musqueam people. The theme for this month is exploring tracing in all its wonderful, beautiful ways. And the theme for today's episode is tracing memories through daily objects. So we'll be using objects around us wherever we're creating from currently to experiment, play, and trace our memories. So here are some suggested materials that uh, we can work with for our activity. So first of all, we'd like to select some objects around us. Um, it would be great if we had a pen or pencil, maybe an eraser. We'd love some paper, and that can be scraps of paper. And in the same way, we can use post-its or index cards or scraps of paper there too. A black marker or Sharpie, and color pencils or markers. So before we get into our main activity for today, let's start with a warm-up. So let's start this warm-up activity by listing three memories we can think of right now. Memories can be of something that happened earlier today, yesterday, last week, or even last year. They can be of a person, an object, a smell, a sound, a feeling, a place, a combo of all of those and even anything else. What do you remember at this moment? So I'm going to list my three memories. Let's start with memory one. Maybe it's something I remember from yesterday. So my memory from yesterday was eating a delicious bowl of noodles. A memory from last week. Let's see. Um, I spent time with my awesome friend. And 
And then another memory I can think of right now is going to the beach last year. So those are my three memories for this warm-up activity. Now, what if we drew a little uh, image to go along with our memories that we've just listed? For example, for my first memory, I can draw my noodles. So here's my little bowl. And here's my noodles. My little fork. And it was nice and hot yesterday, these noodles, and super tasty. What images can you draw for your three memories? My next image is a little doodle of my friend Emma. So that's Emma. And that's who I spent time with last week. And my third image is of the beach. So I'm going to draw the ocean. And a nice sunset. Do you find that having pictures with your memories helps you think about your memory more deeply? What does it do for you to draw these pictures with your memories? For me, it definitely helps me have stronger feelings when I'm thinking of these memories. So for example, when I'm thinking of this first memory, my image of the noodles that I just drew helps me feel, I guess, a little hungry. <laughs> um, it also helps me feel happy. Okay, now that we've warmed up a bit, let's get into our main activity. Let's look around our space and pick out an object. It can be any object. So I'm going to pick my headphones because they're nearby. It's something I use every day. So with our object that we just picked. Let's make a web of words, phrases, and images that the object reminds us of. We're going to call these our associations, or what comes to mind when we engage with our object. We're going to do this on a piece of paper or some post-its that you have around with our pen or pencil. So I'm just going to use my Sharpie here. So let's aim to get around 10 to 15 of our associations, or what our object reminds us of. Again, it can be uh, words, phrases, um, images, you can draw, you can doodle. So I'm just going to doodle and draw and write right on these post-its. In the middle, I'm going to write headphones. Maybe draw a circle around that. And let's place our post-its if you're using those, or even scraps of paper you can use around this, around our headphones. So, uh, actually, let me get some more. Let's get about 
at least at least 10 going. And if you have more words and phrases that come to mind, that's awesome. All right. So when I think of headphones and when I see my headphones, I think about what it looks like. When you're engaging with your object, how does your object feel? Does it have a smell? Does it make any sounds? What does your object make you feel? And of course, what memories come to mind when you engage with your object in all of those different uh, ways, using your five senses, sight, hearing, touch, feeling, um, and so on. So for me, when I look at my headphones, I'm reminded of, of course I'm reminded of music. My headphones make me feel really happy because I'm able to listen to music with my headphones anywhere I want. So I'm going to draw a little smiley face there. Maybe I can draw a couple of notes, music notes. And when I feel this, when I feel my headphones, it feels smooth. It feels smooth here as well. But over here, there are bumps and bumps over here as well. So I can write that down as well. So I'm just going to keep on writing and you keep on writing too. So I spent some time thinking about some associations and I came up with words, images, phrases, and of course memories that my object, my headphones, sparked for me. So I came up with 10 of them and of course we've got music because my headphones reminds me of when I listen to music, which makes me happy which also makes me feel at peace. And when I felt my headphones, parts of it were smooth and parts of it were bumpy. So smooth and bumpy. When I think about my headphones, I also think about and am reminded of dancing because I love to dance. And um, I'm reminded of my memory of singing at the talent show which was a great memory. I'm reminded of when I use my headphones, which is on the bus or when I'm working on my laptop. And my headphones also reminds me of sharing ideas, such as when I'm sharing my favorite songs with my friends. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three to five of these associations that you came up with, so words, phrases, images, and we're just gonna put them aside for a second. So, let me see. I will pick, I will pick the bus. Let's pick my memory of singing at the talent show. I'm also going to pick music. And let's also pick dancing. I'm going to stick with four of these. I'm going to put this aside for now. So with these four associations that you've selected, or, or five, three, or five, three to five, what if we came up with more words and phrases or images from one of these? 
So I'm gonna pick the bus and let's see what happens. Let's brainstorm even more words and images from just picking one of the ones you selected from your web. So for my bus image and word, that reminds me of going to school. That's my little apple for school. Another thing the bus reminds me of is actually, I'm gonna use my fun image from before the warm up activity because I've taken the bus to go to the beach. And one more thing that the bus reminds me of is the grocery store. Because I take the bus to go to the grocery store as well. So here's my little cheese for you. And I'm getting lots and lots of cheese, delicious cheese from the grocery store. Okay, so that was fun. Now, let's go back to the original ones we selected and put these ones aside for now. So what if we used our associ associations here together to create a new memory? By this, I mean, let's use our creative juices to write a little story. So your story can be a few sentences or a short paragraph. I can use dancing, my memory of seeing at the talent show, music, and the bus to create my own short story. So let's spend some time writing this story. Again, it can be in sentences or um, a little short paragraph. So let's spend some time doing that now. So, from these four associations that I picked from this little web about my headphones, I came up with a whole story. So let's read our story out loud. My story goes, one day in May, I got ready for the talent show. I was going to sing a song for the talent show and I was excited, but also a little nervous. When I got on the school bus in the morning, I noticed everybody was giggling and then they shouted, Surprise! I sure was surprised. What's going on? I asked. You forgot today's your birthday. I gasped. Oh yeah. So we wanted to throw you a party on the school bus. Wow, I screamed. Thanks so much. All the way to school, we played fun music. Some of us danced in our seats. I was so, so happy. I was so happy that I was, wasn't even nervous anymore for my talent show later. What a fun morning. So that's my little story that I came up with in which I used my four associations. So we were on the bus, right? Throughout the story. We're dancing on the bus to music and all of this is leading up to the talent show. So now what I want us to do is uh, to use our markers, so preferably a black marker or maybe a Sharpie. And let's think about what if we blacked out every fifth word of the story. So let's do that right now. So this is the fifth word, the first fifth word, then we'll keep going. One, two, three, four. Five. And let's keep on going. And 
just blacking out the fifth word every time. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm on to my second index card. One, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, 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 five, and we're almost done. And I get to keep those last four words. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've blacked out every fifth word, what are we left with? So if I read this again, we're left with one day in May, got ready for the show. I was going to sing a song for a talent show and I excited, but also a nervous. When I got the school bus in morning, I noticed everybody giggling and then they, surprise! I sure was, what's going on? I, you forgot today's your, I gasped. Oh yeah, we wanted to throw a party on the bus. Wow, I screamed, so much. All the, to school we played music. Some of us in our seats. I so, 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 I was so happy. <laughs> I wasn't even nervous for my town show. What a fun morning. So by blacking out every fifth word, we still kind of got the gist of this new story, right? Now, what if we blacked out three adjectives? So let's see, I'm gonna black out excited. That's one. Um, let me black out nervous. Let's see if I have any other adjectives. So I have nervous again, but let me black out morning. So as we keep blacking these out, does it make sense? Does it make less sense? Kind of does make less sense, right? The story. But we can still kind of figure it out. Now, with the story that we have left, after blacking every, uh, a lot of the words out, I want us to take a moment with this story to reflect on what this reminds us of. You can pick up some words that remind you of other words, images, phrases, again, associations, and let's see where that takes us. So I'm going to brainstorm three associations. So for me, I'm gonna pick surprise for a second, and that reminds me of gifts. It's got a little gift here. And actually, I'm going to use that to then spark a memory of Christmas for me. And Christmas reminds me of snow. So I'm gonna draw a snowman.
And another thing that surprise reminds me of is, uh, I think my, a birthday party that I recently went to. So I'm going to draw a little birthday hat. That's my snow person, and that's my birthday hat. So let's take a moment to reflect on what we did today. Today, we traced memories through daily objects. I'm proud of how I used different ways to trace my memories today. I'm also proud of how I, I wrote a little story using some of my associations right from this web. And I'm proud of how all this was sparked by using an object around me, just this one object, my headphones. So what are you proud of after doing this activity? What can you take away from today's activity? Let's clean up now. Let's take apart what we've created because nothing is for keeps. respectful by recycling what we've used. All right. Thanks so much for joining me for our Art Starts Explorers episode. I hope you had fun tracing your memories through the objects around you. Thanks.